an ounce. The USS Utah at Pearl Harbor. 54 men and a baby. There are occasions when the stars align and bring a little light even to the difficult circumstances. Sometimes it's hard for us to see. We get lost in the problems at hand. We focus on righting the wrong, or we might just walk away trying to forget the whole thing. But if and when we turn and take it in, as it is, there is often a sparkle of brilliance to be found. This is just such a story. At the end of this episode, you'll hear one of the lesser known and more poignant aspects of what came to pass on a day never to be forgotten. The USS Utah and its crew. On March 9, 1909, the keel of what was to become the USS Utah was laid down. On August 31st of 1911, the ship was commissioned by the U.S. Navy as a Florida-class dreadnought battleship. The USS Utah saw service all over the world, including the American intervention in the Mexican Revolution in 1914 in Veracruz, Mexico, and in World War I. And the ship remained busy after the First World War in multiple campaigns and activities, including training for anti-aircraft gunners. On December 7, 1941, at around 8 a.m., the USS Utah was moored at Ford Island in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, when some of the sailors on board noticed several aircraft approaching the harbor. Assuming they were American, they continued their tasks and just watched until the number of aircraft increased a lot. And then the bombs and torpedoes began raining down. The Japanese were able to get direct hits on the Utah with two torpedoes. The ship immediately experienced heavy flooding, began to settle to the stern and list. The crew was forced to abandon ship and swim for shore. At 12 minutes after eight, the ship rolled over. Those who had managed to get to shore could hear tapping and pounding on the hull of the mostly upside down battleship. A cutting torch was acquired from the USS Raleigh and holes were cut in the hull of the Utah, saving as many as 10 more sailors. Though 461 officers and crew survived, 58 were lost, including Chief Water Tender Peter Tumich, who was posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor for his efforts to save others that day. Only four of the dead were recovered and identified. 54 remained with the ship. In the months following the attack, efforts to salvage the Utah were abandoned and the wreck was left, partially submerged just off Ford Island, with the remains of sailors still aboard as a war grave. There is much more to the story of the USS Utah, much more than can be presented in this brief episode, but let's explore just one small, lesser known detail. Nancy Lynn Wagner. On August 29, 1937, twin girls, Nancy Lynn Wagner and Mary Diane Wagner were born. The girls were born in the Philippines to Navy Chief Yeoman Wagner and his wife. They arrived early and suffered several complications. Little Nancy Lynn passed after two days. And although pronounced dead on three separate occasions, Mary Diane miraculously survived and was released after spending her first four months in a hospital. This was not the first child the Wagners had lost. They previously lost a daughter named Helen, who, when she passed, was cremated, and her ashes were scattered at sea by her father, accompanied by a Navy chaplain. The plan was to honor little Nancy in the same way, the same way they had Helen. And gratefully, they were able to cherish and raise their surviving daughter, Mary Diane. Nancy Lynn's remains were kept on board the ship in the chief's locker. Patiently, he had been waiting for a chaplain to be assigned to the crew and the right moment so the remains could be 
reverently interred. On December 7, 1941, Chief Wagner and the USS Utah were assigned to Pearl Harbor. Meanwhile, the chief was still waiting on that chaplain. Of that day, Chief Wagner wrote, After breakfast, the air was rent by a terrific explosion. Rushing to a porthole, I saw a huge column of black smoke billowing high into the heavens. In the chaos of a rapidly sinking ship, Wagner was unable to reach his battle station before it became quite apparent that the ship was lost. So along with most of the rest of the crew, he was able to abandon the ship and swim to shore. His vantage point for the remainder of the attack was in a partially dug sewer trench. Nothing more he and the crew could do now but watch. Shells and bombs, he wrote, bursting everywhere with puffs of smoke and flame filling the atmosphere, and with the Japanese planes flying high above our fire, obtaining their objectives and zooming right down into certain death, several planes dashed themselves against the ships, knowing it was impossible to make their return. Within a few days, attempts were made to find the urn of ashes of little Nancy Lynn. The ship's enormous wreck was explored by divers after her sinking, and the area where the locker contained the ashes of the little girl was found to be so completely smashed that nothing could be identified or retrieved. In the years following, and after his retirement from the Navy, Chief Wagner often visited the muddy shore adjacent to the wreck of the USS Utah. He was there to pay respects to his daughter, little Nancy Lynn, and his lost shipmates, who silently guarded her rest. His last visit was in 1971. Since that time, memorials have been erected to mark the loss of 58 and to honor the resting place of 54 and a baby girl, Nancy Lynn Wagner. An ounce. Is there more than bad memories? So here's the ounce. Terrible, even unthinkable things happen and will happen in every life. Overwhelming challenges, war, maybe the loss of a child. Could there be anything but bad memories from such things? At first, frustration, pain, anger, and loss may overwhelm everything else. Gratefully, with hope and time, our perspective can and should change. And good things can be found. Even when bitterness and the thirst for vengeance seem all there is, with the passing of time and hope, it can be overcome if we allow it. And that's it. An ounce. Submitted for your consideration. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please subscribe. If you found something good here, please do come back and visit us again. Watch one of our other great videos and share it with your friends. Leave us a comment. Thanks.